how to prep and pass a phone screening interview. Well, let's find out what these are for and let's get into the best practices on how you can ace this phone screen interview. What are they for? Well, they're to shorten the great big pool of people who have applied for the job. So lots and lots of people may have applied for the job and because they've had so many, they've got a screen for certain things so that they can create a shorter list so that they can begin to schedule interviews. And you wanna get onto that second list. What they do is they do an initial pass through for basic information. They wanna know if you are legally allowed to work in the country that you're applying for. Uh, they wanna know if you are close by because if it's not a remote position, they need to know that you can commute for however many days a week to the, the, the company to be able to do the job. You would be amazed at how many people apply for jobs that are nowhere near where they're supposed to be for the job. Now, if you're willing to move and it's a big corporate job and you know they're willing to, to move you across country, that's a completely different thing. But we have had multiple, multiple, multiple people apply from countries where there is no, there's no possible way they could be here for the position. The other thing they want to check is your availability as far as things like have you booked a vacation? Are you planning to go on an extended trip in the next six months or 12 months? Is there something major that they um, will need to take into consideration if you are the successful candidate? Now part of this is they just want to know that you're available. They, they want to know when you're, when you're able to start because they want to make sure that you're not in another position that you have to be in for the next three months. So they, they might ask you that question. They might wait for you if you're the perfect candidate, but they might ask you that question. But they also are trying to gauge whether or not you're gonna stick around. Now, they can't ask you if you're planning a maternity leave. They can't ask you if you're planning to get married. These are illegal questions, so they can't ask you those things. But they're gonna go through and do some basic check, 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 so that you would go around on to the next round and if they've got 25 people and many of them can start tomorrow and don't plan on going anywhere for the next year on a vacation, they might get chosen over you. The other thing they wanna do is get a, a sense of who you are. So a first impression, a um, is this person gonna fit culturally with our organization? Um, do they have similar values? I mean, they may or may not get into all of that, but that is one of the things they're trying to get a sense of you for the first screening to then pass you on to the next screening. And some of it might seem subjective and arbitrary and yeah, that's the way it works. First impressions really, really count. So you wanna be as prepared as possible and I'll talk about that in just a second. All right, so things that you should prepare for. I suggest you prepare for a full-on interview just in case because it's entirely up to the hiring manager if they make this a you know three minute thing or a 10 minute thing or a 35 minute thing. It could be any of those. So I would be fully and completely prepped as much as you can be for this interview. If you know this is coming, before it happens so that in case it does turn into a longer situation, you are ready. So they might ask you, why do you want this role? Why do you want this job? And this is to sort of envision who, what it is that you've got that they might want. So that does not include, I like the salary, I like the location. Don't bother with those kinds of things. Make sure that you're answering the question with keeping in mind why they're asking. So keeping, and I've done lots of videos on this, but why they're asking this question in the first place. There's always a motive. There's always a reason. And mostly it will be because, you know, you've got X number of skills that you want to try out. You've got things that you haven't had a chance to do in your other position, etc. So think about what they're looking for and how you can respond addressing some of those issues. And the job description will give you that clue. They might ask, how you would be a good fit, why they should choose you. In other words, what makes you the best candidate? So talk about your skills and your training and your experience here. Talk about the, the things that you have done in the past that will translate well in this situation. Talk about your achievables. Talk about your gains and the things that you have um, that you are proud of that are on your resume, but don't just reiterate the resume. Make sure that you bring it to life a little bit. If they ask you, tell me about yourself or walk me through your resume, then I will link to a video on how to answer that question. The tell me about yourself in this instance is 
What are the things that you have done in your past that will be an asset to them? One of the things they probably will ask, or if they don't ask, it would be to your advantage to do, is to show them your familiarity with their organization. I've had candidates come in when I was helping with interviews that had not even looked at the company website. They hadn't even looked. They had no idea about the culture, no idea about the company, no real idea about what it was that we did. They were pretty immediately taken off the long list and just put elsewhere. <laughs> they didn't make it. Show that you've researched the company. Show that you know something about the organization you've applied for. And you can do that by going in and looking and if they ask you questions about, you know, are you familiar with this? Yes, and don't just say yes. Yes, and I noticed that, blah, blah, blah. You know, fill in the blanks. Look at the company um, uh, social media as well and make sure that you are up to date on the latest because sometimes websites can stagnate. So you wanna go to the latest thing and see what's happening in the organization. If it's a physical place you can go to, go there and you might say oh yeah i noticed you rearranged the store recently or or whatever it happens to be or you know if you're applying in in some place that does customer service make mention of that you noticed something your main goal here is to stand out as someone that they absolutely don't want to lose in the shuffle that they want to put on the shorter list and you might even get an extra little star bonus next to your name if you really pull this one off so the more you can be ready the more you can be prepared by practicing your answers, using the STAR method. I've got stuff on that on this channel. And, um, and one of the great things about a phone interview, which is even easier to do than if it's um, on a computer, if it's on a video interview, is that you can have notes with you. You want to make sure you're not, you know, making all sorts of, I don't have any paper here to do this, but any, you know, shuffling, shuffling sounds. You don't want to, you want to make sure you're doing it on the slide, but you can certainly have stuff in front of you and um, and that's helpful. Now, sometimes they're sneaky and they phone you and say, do you have a time for an interview right now? And that's a tough one because you wanna say yes, because you wanna show that you're flexible and adaptable, but you might be you know, at the pool watching your kid have a swimming lesson or you might be at the hockey arena or there might be, you know, you might be at your other job. There may be reasons why it's really not a good time. If at all possible, if you can step out and do it, that's great. And this is where your preparation is going to count a lot because you may not have your notes with you. Although in this instance, I might pack them around with me and uh, have them just in case. Can I phone you back in five minutes kind of thing if you can if you can get there. If they're going down the list and they're just doing, it's really not nice that they're doing it without giving you any notice, but it happens. So try and be as prepared as you possibly can. If you've got some notice and you know when, you can get a lot more prepared. Have everything laid out, have it, everything ready in front of you so that you can answer questions um, as needed. Okay, so as I said before, if you are interested in watching the Tell Me About Yourself, which is the same thing as Walk Me Through Your Resume, then click over there and I will see you right over there. I always forget where it is on the screen. Anyway, the next little video box you see, I'll be there.